Most people know, for a team to function productively, there needs to be a big element of trust. The Joe Harry Window Model will help you understand how to build trust in your team, as well as help you in your own personal development. If you're interested, the Joe Harry Window was developed by Joseph Luft and Harry Ingham. They called it Joe Harry after combining their names. There are four areas in the Joe Harry window and they represent all the information available about a person. Let's use Joe as our example. This is Joe's window. Area one is commonly known as the open area. It represents information that Joe knows about herself and the people around her also know about her, like that she's a dedicated worker and she loves cats. Area two is the blind area. It represents information that Joe doesn't know, but other people do. This could be information that she doesn't yet realize, like that she talks way more than she listens, and she jumps in on conversations before letting people make their point. The information in area three is hidden. It's the stuff about Joe that she knows, but she doesn't want anyone else to know. Like, um, oh, <laughs> sorry. Area four is the unknown area. This is information unknown by Joe, but also unknown by everyone else. Things like her aptitude for managing people, however, she's never been given the opportunity to demonstrate or uncover this skill. Now, this is the typical representation of the window, but these panes can be moved. So the areas change size to reflect the right proportions of knowledge about a particular person. Joe has been with her team for some time now. So let's see how her window compares with Craig, who has just joined the team. New members will have much smaller open areas than established team members because they haven't had the chance to share much about themselves. The aim for everyone is to grow the open area and shrink the hidden area. This space represents good communication, free from mistrust, conflict and misunderstanding. Naturally, it is wise to hold some things back and not shrink the hidden area completely. No one wants to overshare. Personal information that is not work-related should remain hidden, but anything work-related like ideas, suggestions and concerns are better out in the open. The blind area is another area that is not a productive space in a team. The aim should be to reduce this space through increased trust and a willingness to give and receive feedback. This is a great time for you to work on your feedback skills so you can help out a team member who may need to learn something about themselves. So now you know about the Joe Harry window, you can see the value of self-disclosure and the importance of giving and accepting constructive feedback. With this new knowledge, you can help people build better, more trusting relationships with one another and work more effectively as a team. For more insights on how to do great work at work, Visit the MetaPeople website at www.metapeople.com.au or call MetaPeople on 1300 552 563.